changing your pandas data frame column names. Now we're going to show you three methods to do this. The first one is going to be our preferred one, which is via the dot rename. And then we're going to talk about how to set your columns and set your access from there. Let's jump into it and see three different methods. First thing that we'll do is we'll import pandas as PD. Great. And then I'm going to create a data frame. Now this data frame is going to have three different columns. The first one is going to be name. The second one is going to be type. And the third one is going to be average bill. And these are restaurants within San Francisco. So say you want to rename your column names. And the first one that I want to rename is I want to rename average bill to just bill. Okay. Now the way that you're going to do this is the first recommended method, which is via dot rename. So we have our data frame dot rename. And then here is a great and beautiful part is you're going to pass a dictionary and this dictionary, the key is going to be the old column name that you want to change. And the value is going to be the new value of the column that, or the column name that you want to change it to. And then the last thing is you need to specify to pandas if you want to change your columns or your index. And by setting access equals one, that's going to tell pandas that you want to set uh, your columns or to go look in your columns. We'll run this. And now you can see that average bill has been renamed to bill. Now, another way to do this alternatively without setting access equals one is you could actually just say, hey, dot rename for my columns, do this uh, function or do this mapper. And in this case, the mapper, which is just a fancy way of saying, take my old value and translate it into something is you're going to pass your dictionary right into columns. Go ahead and run this and you get the same exact effect as beforehand. And if I wanted to call this G bill, you know, you get G bill from there. Okay. Huh? Now, the second way that you could change your column names, or actually not the second way, sort of the second way is you can use it. Uh, you can use a function as your mapper. And so in this case, instead of passing a dictionary, say you want to uppercase all of your column names. Well, in this case, I can set columns equals string dot upper. Now, what's cool about this is if I do this, it's going to apply this function to every single one of my column names. And now all of them have been uppercased. I could also do lower and then get all of the um, characters lowercased as well. Now, another just small example of this is that you could pass a Lambda function as well. So in this case, what I'm going to do is for every column name, I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to drop the first letter, meaning I'm going to return only uh, everything after the first character. We'll go ahead and run this. And as you can see, the N, the T and the A have been removed from our column names. All right. Now, method number two, this is when we're going to change our column names via the dot columns uh, attribute of the data frame. So here I'm saying data frame dot columns. You'll notice that it's not a function and I'm going to pass a list name, type and a bill. Go ahead and run this. You get name, type and a bill. Now, the reason why I don't love this one as much is because you need to specify every single one of your column names because if you don't, pandas is going to throw you an error and they're going to say, Hey, we don't reckon you, you passed us a different length than the number of columns that you have. So whereas beforehand you could be explicit and say, you only want to switch one column name down here with this method, you have to specify all of them, including the change that you want. So it's a bit more verbose. Um, and the other problem is that you might run into, what if you misorder? your column names. So here, for example, I'm saying bill is in the first one, then name, then type. Well, pandas doesn't know what I'm trying to switch in the first place. So all of a sudden my bill is my first column. My name is, you know, just, it gets all messed up. So what you need to be careful of is that the list that you pass, those column values are in exactly the same order that you'd like them to be. The third method that we're going to look at is via set access. And this is very similar to either uh, changing the column names. And so in this case, I'm just going to pass a list again and set my access to one, which means I'm telling pandas, Hey, I want you to change the columns. The nice thing about this one is if you wanted to rename the rows index as well, well, you could do that if you just set access equals zero, but that's for another tutorial. And then to finally, uh, to wrap it up here, I'll go name type, and then just rename this to bills. And you can see here that bills gets renamed right here. So that is how you change your column names within pandas.